Hi, I'm Larry Whitmer and welcome to another Random Act of Anatomy. It's the coronavirus quarantine time. I'm the only one here in the life sciences building. I come into the campus every couple of days to check on all the labs on this floor and to check all the freezers. Sure enough, on a Saturday, beautiful Saturday, it turns out that the walk-in freezer over there isn't working. And so I'm waiting for the uh, facilities guys to come in and see if they can make this work. But while I'm here, I thought I'd show you this um, uh, lovely pelican and to see if we can show you something about how the, the, the skull works, the kinetic apparatus. And so um, if we come in here a little closer, one of the things that we can see is that um, when these birds actually open their mouth, not only does their lower jaw open, but their upper jaw opens as well. The system is here is getting a little tired, partly because the animal is dead and the, and the tissues are getting a little stretched out. But you can sort of see the upper jaw moving up as the lower jaw moves down. Actually, I, you can sort of see how if I just grab this upper jaw here, you can actually see how it moves um, as well. Well, let's zoom in and have a look at this mechanism if we can right here. So what we're looking at as the lower jaw opens like this, with this coupled kinetic system, the lower jaw opens and pushes on the quadrate bone right here, which moves rostrally. That in turn pushes on these palatal bones here. And then those palatal bones actually will then push the upper jaw dorsally. And so if we can sort of see that happening right in there, you can sort of see that happening pretty well there, yeah? And what it's rotating around, the upper jaw is actually rotating around something called the cranial facial hinge right up there. And if I actually grab the upper jaw here, you can, I can sort of make that thing work um, even better because the tissues aren't quite as stretched out in this um, manner here. So you can actually see, and notice how the lower jaw is moving. As I close the upper jaw, the lower jaw closes as well. That's called a couple kinetic system. Notice that all of the muscles are gone here. And so although it's powered by muscles, the ligamentous connections and the connections of the bones are the things that make this system work. And so even while I'm here waiting for the freezer guys, uh, we can still do a little bit of science with a random active anatomy here during the quarantine. So I'm Larry Whitmer and thanks so much for watching.